talking about nutrition, you may hear the word superfood. And while it may sound more important, what exactly is a superfood? Got a little Aunt Sophie Hyde up and sits down with the dietitian to find out in tonight's Health Beat. Like Mike Chartier tries to include multiple superfoods in his diet. Fruits, uh, what we have right here, strawberries, blueberries, stuff like that, some whole grains, um, salmon. Chartier says he wants to set a good example for his daughter. But what exactly are superfoods? You know, I think that they look at the health benefits, they look at the vitamins and minerals in there. Um, research is always changing. Registered dietitian Tiffany Krogstad says a good way to include superfoods in your diet is by having a colorful plate. Your berries are going to be a good source of antioxidants. Um, your leafy greens are going to have lots of benefits as well. One superfood that's recently taken the spotlight is garlic. It has this molecule called allen in it. And allen, when it breaks down to, into um, hydrogen sulfide, that's what gives it its taste and its aroma. And it actually has some health benefits to it. According to the National Institutes of Health, recent studies show garlic affects your cardiovascular system, immune system, and carcinomas. And that's not all. Reduce um, symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, uh, reduce HDL, so, or increase HDL, which is your good cholesterol, um, decrease LDL and triglycerides, cholesterol. While garlic is considered a superfood, items like garlic salt or powder are not where you're going to get the benefits. You can put it into sauces, you, or you could put it into, top it with meat, you could use it in dips, you could put it in um, soups and stews and things like that. So instead of stocking up on your favorite garlic bread, opt for fresh garlic to get the full benefits. Fresh is going to be best when using it with different types of foods. It's best if it's crushed or if it's sliced. Allowing your body to absorb all the benefits. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman.